Odell Beckham Jr., a.k.a. OBJ. He has made an interesting decision as he is going to be signing with the Baltimore Ravens. This is Sports Guy talking that you guys are listening and watching to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about Odell Beckham Jr. signing with the Baltimore Ravens to a one-year, $18 million contract. The Ravens are currently in a contract stalemate with quarterback Lamar Jackson. However, this is the first time in a long time that the Ravens have added a quote-unquote star wide receiver in free agency. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with the topic question. So, here it is. How much impact will Odell Beckham Jr. have for the Ravens? And honestly, I don't think he's going to have a lot of impact. Odell Beckham Jr. was a great wide receiver. Odell Beckham Jr. was a great route runner. Odell Beckham Jr. was a great player at making catches. However, what is the key word that I keep repeating in those phrases was... Odell Beckham Jr. is no longer the player that he once was. Do I think Odell Beckham Jr. can be good in the right situation? Definitely. I think Odell Beckham Jr. is capable of going off at any time. And if you give him a really good passer, then he could look really good. However, Odell Beckham Jr. is not the kind of guy that can carry any passer anywhere, any place, any time. Odell Beckham Jr. no longer has that ability. And it's not his fault that he no longer has that ability. He's coming off of two knee injuries. He tore his ACL not once but twice. And you look at the last time that Odell Beckham Jr. got over a thousand yards. The last time Odell Beckham Jr. got a thousand yards was in 2019. The last time that Odell Beckham Jr. got over 1,100 yards receiving was in 2016. I bet nobody really knew that though because of the way that Odell Beckham is constantly being talked about, you would think that Odell Beckham Jr. was still an elite wide receiver. People would not even realize that Odell Beckham Jr. has not caught double digit touchdowns since the 2016 NFL season. Look, Odell Beckham Jr the reason why people know him so well is because he's a diva and the fact that he had a great start to his career but ever since his great start to his career he has simply never been the same afterwards if i told you guys that odell beckham jr is already 30 years old and the fact that he was out of the nfl last season a lot of people would be probably surprised by that fact but that's the reality of the situation why do nfl fans keep expecting odell beckham jr to be this top five receiver that he isn't and that's what you're telling me when you're signing him for 18 million dollars a year I understand why the Baltimore Ravens signed Odell Beckham Jr. I can't blame them for doing what they did because they need to do whatever it takes to get Lamar Jackson back on their football team and the fact that they don't really have any great receivers to begin with anyways. But just because you signed Odell Beckham Jr. at this point in stage of his career, that doesn't mean that Odell Beckham Jr. is going to all of a sudden become a great player. Look, I'm not hating on Odell. Odell is a great player or was a great player, should I rather say. He's still a great route runner. I think he could be a great number two for our team. But do I think he can be a superstar wide receiver one for some team? No, he can't. He is more known for being a diva, more so than actually being good on the football field. Do I think he can play in the right situation? Definitely. That situation where he was on the 2021 Rams during their Super Bowl roster, that was the perfect fit for Odell Beckham Jr. He can still shatter matchups against cornerback twos. That's how good Odell Beckham Jr. is. I still think he can be a really good number two. But do I think he can be a superstar wide receiver one that can be the centerpiece of an offense? I don't think he can, at least not on a winning level. We have never seen Odell Beckham outside of 2016 be able to be a number one receiver for an offense and be winning on the same team. Odell Beckham Jr., there's no doubt in my mind that he can put up numbers, but can he put up numbers that are relative to winning? Because so far he has not shown that he is capable of that, and I don't think he's going to make that much impact for the Baltimore Ravens. This kind of reminds me of when the Baltimore Ravens signed Des Bryant during the COVID year in 2020. Some people thought, hey, that's finally going to give Lamar Jackson some help at wide receiver. But what ended up happening was that Des Bryant made minimal impact on the Baltimore Ravens. He really wasn't even all that to begin with. And then when he went to the Ravens, he looked like a shell of his former self. I think the same thing is going to happen to OBJ. I mean, look, the Baltimore Ravens, they don't really pass the ball a lot anyways on offense. They emphasize running the ball. They emphasize playing good defense. And more importantly, their quarterbacks are not pass first. Is Lamar Jackson an elite quarterback? I think he is. Do I think the rest of the NFL believes that he's an elite quarterback? No, they don't believe he's an elite quarterback. Here's one thing that I know for sure. Lamar Jackson is not an elite passer of the football. That is a given. In fact, it would even be generous to say Lamar Jackson is a good passer of the football. Do I think there's more than one way to prove at being elite at the quarterback position? Yes, I do. However, the NFL isn't ready to throw themselves into that belief yet. When you look at the Baltimore Ravens, who are the quarterbacks? If Lamar Jackson comes back, he's definitely going to be the quarterback. But 
Lamar Jackson is not a pass first QB. Here's the thing though, it's not even like their backup is an accurate passer either. Their current backup right now is Tyler Huntley. If the Baltimore Ravens don't get a deal done with Lamar Jackson, that means that Tyler Huntley is going to be their starting quarterback unless if Lamar Jackson signs the franchise tender or something like that. But the point is, if Tyler Huntley is their starting quarterback, the Odell Beckham Jr. is not going to produce at a high level. It's going to be as simple as that. Even if Lamar Jackson came back for the Baltimore Ravens, I'm not even that confident Odell Beckham Jr. could put up numbers for the Baltimore Ravens, mostly because of the fact that he would have to be a run blocker in the offense. There's a reason why wide receivers in Baltimore struggle. Do I think it's because they partially suck? Yes, I do. But you also look at the scheme that they run. They are asked to block more than any other receiving core in the NFL. And Odell Beckham Jr., I don't see him being great at that role. Odell Beckham Jr. is a great route runner who has great hands. That's what he can be, but he's not really going to be a guy that's going to be blocking a linebacker, blocking a safety for a long run. That's not Odell Beckham Jr. He's never been that way, and I'm sure Odell Beckham would tell you he doesn't want to be that way. So why did he sign with the Baltimore Ravens? To me, it looks like he signed with the Baltimore Ravens because they offered him the most amount of money. And let's be honest, most guys are not going to pass up on a deal where they're going to get paid $18 million a year with $15 million of it being guaranteed. Look, Odell Beckham Jr., I know he can earn another $3 million in incentives, but the point is, you look at the contract for Odell Beckham Jr., and it's no wonder why he signed with the Baltimore Ravens to begin with, because of the fact that the Baltimore Ravens offered him more money than any other team would have. Remember, Odell Beckham Jr. was set out to visit with the Jets today, but he didn't do that because he got a deal from the Baltimore Ravens that was just simply too good to pass up. I think Odell Beckham Jr., if you truly wanted to win and truly wanted to put up good numbers, he should have waited for an offer from the Jets. That way he could try to team up with Aaron Rodgers and the fact that the Jets already are more of a pass first kind of team if they do get Aaron Rodgers. Also combined with the fact that they've already got Garrett Wilson, they've already got CJ Uzama, they already got Brees Hall, they've already got weapons all over the place. They got Alan Lazard, they got Miko Hardman. So when you look at the New York Jets, they already had weapons in place. So I think Odell Beckham Jr. should have signed with the New York Jets if he wanted to maximize his stats and winning. But we know Odell is about the money. And Odell with the money, he saw that the Baltimore Ravens were going to pay him $18 million a year. That's why he decided to sign with them. As far as do I think he'll make a ton of impact for the Baltimore Ravens? No, I don't. I think Odell Beckham Jr. is going to struggle on the Ravens. I don't think he's going to help them out a whole ton. And I don't see the Baltimore Ravens become a better football team today with the addition of Odell Beckham Jr. So that is why Odell Odell Beckham Jr. will not have a major impact on improving the Ravens. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That'll be for the at Dustin S. Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video, comment down below, check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.